Hello there. This is a short summary of our recent paper titled GNM, a general navigation model to drive any robot. I'm Dhruv, and this is joint work with my collaborators Ajay, Arjun, Noriaki, and Sergey at UC Berkeley. We consider the task of training visual navigation policies for reaching a user-specified goal image from multiple different types of robots in challenging environments. Unlike the general paradigm of robot learning for navigation, where we use data collected from each individual robot and sensor configuration to train a policy for that specific robot, we show that we can train a single only policy from a heterogeneous data set collected on six different robots, giving us our general navigation model. To enable this, we aggregate a heterogeneous data set of navigation trajectories sourced from eight data sets collected across six different robotic platforms as shown here. These robots have widely varying sizes, dynamics, sensors, and behaviors, spanning challenging indoor and outdoor environments. We start with a standard goal-conditioned visual navigation model that accepts the current and goal observation as inputs and predicts the temporal distance between them and the best action to navigate to the goal as outputs. Such models have been used in conjunction with topological graphs to enable large-scale navigation in challenging indoor and outdoor environments. We make two simple changes to adapt such models so they may be trained using heterogeneous datasets with a large variance in size, speed, and other parameters. While this seems challenging at first, we observe that, as humans, we can pretty effectively maneuver a variety of differently sized vehicles in a video game using a controller which abstracts away the dynamics. Or in real life, we can drive different cars with widely varying sizes and dynamics by adapting rather quickly. While all these vehicles require widely different schemes of reasoning and scene understanding, we argue that the fundamental objectives of navigational goal reaching are shared across all these environments or games and abstracting away the local controller can be an effective way to simplify the learning problem. To translate this observation to our model, we abstract away the low-level controllers of each robot and make predictions in a normalized action space. The outputs of the model, estimates of the temporal distance and the future waypoints, are scaled by a robot-specific factor, such as its size or top speed, abstracting away the variance in the controllers across robots and massively simplifying the learning problem. While the shared abstraction helps reduce variance in the outputs, the model still needs to infer the capabilities of the robot it's deployed on. For instance, a quadruped may be able to trample on a pile of branches and continue straight towards the goal, whereas a turtle bot may need to plan an alternate path around it, seeking flat ground. This amounts to a system identification process for the GNM to condition its behavior on the capabilities of the robot. We find that a simple modification to the model, conditioning it on a sequence of past observations from the robot's viewpoint, gives us a mechanism to provide an embodiment context to the GNM and condition the model on these capabilities. We find these two simple modifications essential to, to enable training on diverse datasets and deploying to new robots. We deploy the GNM trained with these modifications on multiple different robots, including new robots. We find that our general navigation model trained on the heterogeneous dataset outperforms policies trained with data from any single robot. We test GNM in more than 20 challenging indoor and outdoor environments on four different robots and find that a single shared model can consistently navigate in all these diverse settings. This includes controlling an underactuated telequadrotor that is restricted to navigate in a 2D plane in a new indoor environment. Using only the egocentric RGB image shown on the bottom left as the observation, the OMNI policy generalizes to this new robot despite never having seen any data from an aerial robot. We also deploy the OMNI policy on a local bot, another new robot with no corresponding training data. While the new robots have distinct camera hardware, dynamics, and viewpoints, the shared action space and embodiment context allow the OMNI policy to generalize to these new parameters. Next, we show the robustness of the policy to perturbations in camera viewpoints, shown here as three different mounting points for the camera. 
While the perturbation seems subtle, shown in the encircled areas, we find that it can break typical goal condition policies trained on single domain data. We collect a topological graph with a fixed camera viewpoint and deploy the robot with these perturbed viewpoints to reach the yellow stuffed toy shown in the top left corner. We find that our Omni policy can successfully control the robot in every case, suggesting that the training on diverse data sets with varying viewpoints makes it robust to viewpoint changes. We also test robustness to physical degradation, such as tire damage shown here as a piece of wood lodged in the tire. This damage affects the dynamics of the robot and actions corresponding to following a straight line using an open loop controller lead to collision. We find that our learned Omni policy is robust to such changes in the robot dynamics and can successfully reach the goal despite the damage. Using a pre-trained navigation model with broad generalization capabilities can bootstrap applications on novel robots going forward and serve as a universal starting point for training visual navigation models to drive any robot. Towards this goal, we will be releasing the training and deployment code as well as trained models on our project page in the coming weeks. Thank you for your interest and please check out our project page for more information.